Quaker Chemical continuously works to understand the needs of our customers. The test equipment shown in this video is one example of Quaker's ongoing investigation. It simulates the application of dust suppressant for controlling airborne coal dust. These airflow control valves assure proper airflow through the dust chamber and to the dust suppressant reservoir. The aspirator allows a selected amount of coal dust to be injected into the main chamber. Compressed air passes through the aspirator which generates a vacuum in the tube connected to it. The 250 cubic inch size main chamber provides sufficient space for the airborne dust particles to travel towards the particle monitor. The monitor measured the total mass of the particles at the point of the intake tube. When the dust suppression spray is activated, fewer particles will reach the monitor. The drain port allows coal dust particles and air that enters through the aspirator to escape and collect in the dish. This assures continuous flow throughout the duration of the test being performed. Coal dust is being injected into the chamber by placing it under the vacuum tube at the aspirator. Dust can be seen entering the chamber. Here are several views of the dust suppressant being applied, showing the effect on airborne coal dust coming in contact with the spray. During the entire operation of the dust chamber, the monitor is measuring the mass of the particles entering the sampling tube located in the center area of the chamber. The monitoring software collects mass weight data while the equipment is operating. The data can be converted to a graph showing the performance of the dust suppressant. This is one of the ways Quaker Chemical works to understand the needs of our customers.